Shalom, DP. Today is the second episode of Kobe's Corner, and you know what they say about seconds, and now makes us official. Before we begin, I'd like to give a big shout out to Miss Henderson's English class, period six, for keeping English English. I've got tons of news for you today, so stay tuned. I'm Kobe Copper, and this is Kobe's Corner. Welcome to Kobe's Corner. Our top story today, the Dos Pueblos Engineers, Team 1717, finished sixth place in their division at the, in the first robotics world championship in St. Louis. And were recognized for the Innovative in Control Awards sponsored by Rockwell Automation. The, the award is given for innovative control systems and excellence in integration of multiple systems. Team 1717's in, in integration of dozens of sensors and integrated controllers allowed its robot to swerve and glide. A reference to the unique swerve drive transmission drivetrain, a one-of-a-kind design and mechanism. This was the seventh straight first robotics world championship that Team 1717 has reached. The following message is approved by Miss Carey. I want everyone in this in the school to pull out their phones right now, turn off their Wi-Fi, and go to tinyurl.com forward slash vans2013 and vote for Dos Pueblos High School. We are this close to winning $50,000 for our art program. We don't want to pass up this opportunity. In other news, four students came out big winners in the National Scholastic Press Association write-off contest against over a thousand other journalist students from across the country. This makes four national conferences in a row that William Pan has come away a winner in three different categories. The students traveled to San Francisco last weekend and attended sessions with over 4,000 students from over 280 publications and broadcasts. We have Brett Williams here for a live studio interview. He recently returned from a journalism convention in San Francisco. I now have a few questions for him. I participated in the broadcast uh, commercial in PSA, and I uh, came back with an excellence award. There's three different, award you, three different awards you can get. You can get the superior, which is the highest, excellence, which is the middle award, and then you can also get honorable mention. So did anyone else from your school win? Uh, yeah, actually, I have the other one is right here. Uh, Gloria Lamb won the yearbook copy caption academics, and she got an uh, honorable mention award. We had Kayla Zola getting the yearbook copy caption student life, and she got an honorable mention. Uh, William Pan won the computer design art illustration, and he got uh, excellence. Um, and then myself. Very cool, Brett. Well, thank you for being here, here on Kobe's Corner. Oh, well, it was great to be here. Thanks, Kobe. In other news, the DP Dance Benefit, which is a show featuring DP's varsity song and dancers from the community of all styles, including some male ballet. This event takes place this Saturday, May 4th at 6 p.m. Tickets are $5 pre-sale and $7 at the door. You can purchase tickets from your song leaders. Dos Pueblos yearbook program. It's an elective choice here at DP. Here's a little image of last year's book and currently we're in the process of making this year's book which comes out in May. I am the business manager this year. We learned how to manage the budget for yearbook. Our yearbook is nationally acclaimed as one of the best in the country. I never thought that I would be able to do this. I was always scared like coming into yearbook but being able to do it has taught me a lot of like lessons. You learn all sorts of skills as far as photography, journalistic writing. Yearbook gives you a really good opportunity to get involved in the school activities. It's one of the best well-rounded, most practical experience classes you can have here at DP. 